Want to learn how to scan items and then 3D print them? Let's do it. Hey everyone, it's me Jeff. Welcome back to The Corner. I've been waiting a while to do a video like this, but I haven't found an Android app that's capable of scanning decently until now. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to show you how to get to from your phone to printing to post-processing and scaling. Okay, like check this out. Twinsies. All right, I'm going to show you that right now. So the app I want to talk to you about is the Curie Engine 3D Scanner. It's available in both the Android and the Apple Store. So this app is either paid or free. Uh, the paid version, you get 200 photos and unlimited exports. With the, uh, the free version, it's 70 and you get one or two a month that you can export out. But again, the whole thing is that once you've gotten your stuff proper, then you can export it. You don't need to export it till you're ready. It gives you a quick little um, demos in here and it will show you what they kind of look like. Like the cool thing about this app is the fact that it uploads to a cloud to process it. So that's really cool. And the models that they have, they show you how to do it by simply scanning it. You kind of want to stitch all your photos together on any handheld phone app. So I gave it a shot. I had my son do what you just saw, circle me with the camera, and I ended up with a fairly decent scan of my head. So I decided to take this one and export it. So what you're gonna have to do is just confirm because this one here, you see how I have a bit of a gap under my chin, but I can fix that. So we're gonna export this and then we're gonna uh, play around with it. So you're just gonna go to the export tab. You're gonna copy this link. So when you're actually on your computer and you have your link, you're gonna open your link and then you're going to click on your download. It's going to download to your computer and then you're going to find it, extract it, however you want to do it and open it. Once you open it, we're going to put it into a slicer. In the extracted file, you'll have a low poly model and a regular model. You, what you want to do is simply just pull in your, your biggest file, which you'll see in one second here. When you pull this into your slicer, you'll notice right away that it is not scaled accurately. It's a very, very small scale, so you'll have to adjust this. I will basically just quickly uh, turn one axis into 100 mils so we can get a little bit of a bigger model to work with. Now, again, quickly, I am just going to use the, um, the rotation tools and the cutting tool in order to get myself to a point where I have a workable model. You're probably going to end up with an error um, with the mesh. So the best thing to do would be to run it through uh, NetFab and that should fix all the problems for you. And now since it's fixed through NetFab, I can go ahead and um, try to print it, but she's not quite ready yet because as you'll see here, we're slicing it. I've got this big gap at the bottom, which will just be horrible or filled with supports. So yet again, I will use a cutting tool and the rotation tool in order to get a decent model in which to print. Well, it's me. It's printed. As you can see here, it's very rough. There's a hole in the ear. But nonetheless, it printed. But now what I'm going to show you is how to post process. So I guess when I was saying I was going to show you how to post process is an untrue. I'm actually going to point you towards the direction of teaching tech. Michael did a great video a few years back that it would have all the points that I would tell you. So there's really no point in me going over it. Watch his video. It goes through everything from filling it to re reducing shells to filling holes to sculpting the model, which is basically you'll just go over to the sculpt tools and you'll find a decent brush that smooths out any one of these and you'll go around and you'll smooth out your model here I'll see if I'll show you an example um, I've already printed this at this point in time but around the mouth here um, I got a bit of roughness so I'm gonna reduce my brush size a little bit 
and basically I'm just gonna smooth it around just like that right there so basically you're gonna process this by smoothing out certain features as you can tell I left the eyebrows I left the hair um, other parts of the body or parts of the body other parts of the head I did my best to smooth out and once you're done that Feel free just to export it. Uh, you'll have to export it as uh, object files, usually the best. It should, if you've done everything in teaching text video of scaling and hollowing, it should work out just fine. So here's my original bust, the one that's all rough and stuff from the original scan. So I'm just going to delete this and I'm going to bring in the, um, the new one. And let's have a look at that. So here it is. Now notice right away, right off the bat, it's a lot smoother. Um, and it's actually scaled to my head proportions. Now, literally all I did was basically I made a tinfoil hat or a headband, wrapped it around my forehead just above the ears at the eyebrow line, put it down, measured it, and then adjusted the X and Y axis appropriately for that. And I'm going to print this on my Tronxy XY2 Pro. I am going to add some support material in order to make it so the nose has a bit of an overhang and whatnot. I don't want that to droop. And I'm going to slice it because it's going to be about a three day print. Uh, I'm going to end up slicing it actually at like 2.8, um, 0.2.8 for the layer height. And what we're going to do is we're going to slice this, throw it on the printer, and we're going to have a look at it. Well, printing with the trunk, see. Two days, seven days would print about 33% through, working away. So, um, thank God for the really big build area. It wouldn't have fit on the Vox Lab or even the Prusa. I doubt it would fit on an Ender, but with the 250 by 250 by 250, um, my head here works just great. Um, getting a little further. I can see a nose. A nose, I tell you, a nose. All right, so here I am, completed. It looks good. I did have a boo-boo. I don't know if you can see. There's a little line right here. I was excited. My dog needed to go out at like 3 o'clock in the morning, woke me up. So I went downstairs to check on the print. I thought it was done. So I pulled it off the plate, only to realize that the filament sensor triggered. So I had it cut off. So I just printed the extra, um, sliced it, printed it, and glued it on. So that's what that little seam is. But it's good enough to do what needs to be done. It looks pretty good. I could have cleaned it up a little bit more around the mouth and stuff. But again, this was my first time post-processing. So I think he came out pretty good. So yeah, I think the uh, Curie app is actually fantastic, right? Like it allows you to, um, it does a really good, decent job of the scan too. Here, let me just throw that right there in case you couldn't tell, right? But um, it does a really good job. Um, and once you post-process it and stuff, it actually looks pretty good. So yeah, like I really enjoy this app. I'm going to be using it a little bit to try scanning some different stuff. Um, once you've eaten it up and post-process and scale it, looks pretty good um there's tons of things you can use this for um i would use this now that i have the stl of this in my computer anytime i bring in a model to print that i need to scale i'm going to just drop this in first and then scale it over it and make sure it all fits now i want you guys to leave in the comments below what you think you can use this whole scanning to 3d printing process for i'm really excited to hear some ideas and stuff um if you like this video give me a thumbs up uh, if you're cruising through the channel and you're coming across this channel for the first time or you've been here a few times, but yeah, you know, just hit the subscribe button, please, right? It helps the channel grow. I can do some more cool stuff like this. Until next time, I might freak my wife out a little bit and put this in the bed or something. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Eh, am I? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, um, I'll try not to get ahead of myself. Oh, Lord, this can just go on and on. All right, until next time, guys. Thanks. See ya.